Good afternoon folks, welcome back to Life of Us and we are doing another custom character ball for the Dungeons and Dragons board gaming series. This time we've got the Dwarven King, Bayron Iron Cloak, a Dwarven Paladin King, as I promised in the last segment we had the Dwarven Battlemaster, he was the right hand of the Dwarven King and today we are looking at the Dwarven King himself, Bayron Iron Cloak. This is some of the artwork at the back of the cards, the daily utility and at war powers. But without any further ado, let's dive right in and look at his character card. Baron Einklug, Dwarf Paladin King. And behold, thus it was that a holy thunder was wrought down upon the Drachun Gore and smote his fell carcass atop the Narn Steen Dug. And from that thunder emerged the one true king, and all who looked upon him bowed. For he was Bayron Einklok, mightiest of dwarves. So that's taken directly from the, uh, the Dwarven scriptures, the holy text of the dwarves. Uh, Bayron has some fairly powerful stats up front. He's got an AC of 18, an HP of 10, the standard dwarf speed of 5. So even kings are not, doesn't mean he's much faster than any of the other dwarves. And he's got a surge value of 5. But his base ability is quite significant. It's called Holy Presence. And all Dwarven heroes on Bayron style gain a plus 2 AC and gain advantage on all dice rolls. So that's some pretty impressive stats. Um, in terms of power cards, he gets Thunder Smite, 1 daily and 3 utilities and that's it. It's not much in the way of power cards, but he is definitely a character that you want in your in your party if you're going full on dwarves um, he will buff up all the other dwarven characters again uh, the characters that i'm building are, are built for an upcoming campaign so they they are slightly if you find them slightly op they are higher powered than most of the other characters but the monsters and villains that they'll be facing off on are quite are significantly more difficult than standard games so if you want to scale him down a bit, I suppose you could scale down on AC um, as well as scale down on the Holy Presence base ability and instead give the Dwarves plus one AC uh, or, or remove the, the gain advantage on dice rolls. So that is his first level character card. Let's have a look at the second level. Not much difference here. Um, up in AC obviously an HP and an up in Surge but the um, the base ability does change in this case. In this case, it's called Iron Cloak, and all Dwarven heroes on Baron style gain a plus one to speed. So Dwarves are suddenly much faster. They, they're now six, uh, a speed of six, which is unusual for a Dwarf. They gain a plus two to AC and deal a plus one damage against undead monsters. And that's it as far as the character cards go for Baron Iron Cloak. We'll have to have a look at his power cards next because there's no level 3 and no level 4 because he's such a powerful character. His base power at war is called Thunder Smite. And Thunder Smite is an adjacent attack. It is a very powerful adjacent attack, plus 11, so 1 damage, and the base ability of Cowardly, uh, which I've explained previously, but I'll explain it again at the end of the segment. Um, on a hit, the monster gains cowardly, move the monster one tile in any direction. So just the, the mere presence of this holy paladin king is enough to scare away any adversary that he may face against. Okay, let's move on to his daily powers now. Daily powers, there are only two to choose from. Uh, and these daily powers are fairly specific in how they work. The Holy Smite is only for attacking a adjacent villain. So it's not for attacking any monsters, but is a plus 14 dealing five damage with a miss of two damage. So that is a very powerful smite. Um, attack one adjacent villain. On a hit, move the villain one tile in any direction. Then we've got King's Word. Uh, King's Word is attack any five monsters within three tiles deals no damage but also the plus 14 attack is very powerful it does give the monsters all cowardly so that is also fairly powerful the daily power cards to choose from either you gain a big hit against the villain or uh, a cowardly um, attack against up to five monsters within three times let's have a look at the utility 
Okay, the first three utility powers, we've got Iron Stature. Iron Stature says place the HP tokens on this card and use it during a hero phase. Remove an HP token and Thunder Smite deals plus one damage this turn. So that'll amp up your, um, your Thunder Smite uh, at will to deal extra damage, which is really useful. Uh, Master the Dwarfs says place three HP tokens on Master the Dwarfs used during your hero phase. Remove an HP taken, token to place all Dwarf heroes on Bayron style. So if you wanted to bring your, your Master all your Dwarfs onto a single tile and surround Bayron, in case you needed the help, he's really going to need it because he's just so damn powerful. Um, but you could get all the Dwarfs together in one place if needed by using this card. Then we've got Guardian. Guardian says, um, again, place the HP tokens on the card, remove an HP token, and all dwarves may now make an at war attack. Um, so, okay, buff up attacks in that case. Let's have a look at the next set of ability powers. We've got Holy Speech. Holy Speech again. They all sort of have the same ability. All the utilities are placing, um, placing three HP tokens on them. So in this case, you remove an HP token whenever a Black Arrow Tile is placed. And we know Black Arrow Tiles in the DND Adventure Board Gaming System are generally bad because they mean you need to pull an encounter card. But in this case, you get to negate that three times. We've got King's Light. Um, this one is for whenever an undead monster is placed. And you can immediately deal plus one damage to the monster. And if it is destroyed, you draw a treasure card. Resilience. Uh, again, three, three tokens on top of the card, use it any time, remove an HP token to cancel any attack on any Dwarf Hero. And that is Bayron's utility powers and, well, those are all of his powers. Um, there we go, it's the cowardly um, effect as we've seen in the previous uh, installments that I've done. Now, cowardly just means that monsters don't activate for that turn in your point your rolls is then 11. So anytime a monster does activate, and if the monster has a cowardly token on top of it, it has to first roll dice. 20 rolls less than 11, the monster doesn't activate, and you remove the token afterwards. So that is Bayron Iron Cloak in a nutshell. Well, I doubt he'd fit into a nutshell because he's such a big dwarf. Um, but yes, I hope you have fun playing this character and see how he spins. Let me know comment section on my blog what you think um, it's a powerful character i do agree to that so if you find a game that is too op please go ahead and modify the stats to suit your custom game your custom um, campaigns thank you very much and we'll chat again next time bye